Hello everyone, this is Dan from TradeUnity. Today I will show you how to install and set up the software needed to run our service, the copy trading service. You should have already finished the previous tutorial and install your MT4 platform from your broker to your VPS. If you haven't already, the link for these steps are in the description of this video. Otherwise, you should have received within 24 hours of registration an email like this. It contains a link and a password, which you will use later. First, you should click on the link and download the receiver installation kit. Copy it from your download location and now connect to your VPS through your remote desktop connection. Once connected, paste the installation kit somewhere on your VPS. When the download will finish, remember to run the installation. Okay, it finished, so run the installation. Once it is done, start the newly appeared Forex Copier Remote Receiver application. Press yes, and now it will ask you to uh, input your email and password. We're talking about the ones in the email from the beginning. So just go back to the email, copy the password and switch back to the VPS. In input your email where you received the, the previous message and the password. Click register and the dialog will confirm that you're registered. Okay, in the next stage, select the MT4 where you will run the trade copier. I have several of them and I know which one I will need. In case you are running more than one MT4, you should know before the path of the one you will use. All done. Press save and the application will restart. Okay, now we have several red lines and we need to turn them green. Press fix and now you will see that everything will become green. Sometimes you may need to press fix twice. Okay, at this stage we are waiting for the first tick, which means it just needs to sync. You can observe that the auto trading is on and the smiley face in the corner of the chart is happy, which means that the, the expert advisor which is used to, to copy the trades is working perfectly. Okay, we receive some messages. It means it is syncing. It shows me in red that an order could not execute. This is actually something I had previously, which is uh, an order which is already closed. Uh, it's good to know that when something goes bad, there will be a message appearing in red, so you can always check if something really went uh, bad and contact us in case it did. To continue, let's set up the terminal to trade properly. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you use custom lot size and set it to proportional lot based on source receiver equity ratio. Set the value of the multiplier to 1, that, so that you will always trade the approximately the same percentage as we do, as long as your account is $1,000 or more. The next step is optional, and it's only for the people who use a broker that asks you to trade with symbols, which are different than standard, and this step is to map your symbols to the ones that, you, that we use in our master account. This step is not for everyone, it's only for those who don't trade on IC markets and who use different symbols. For example, the Pepperstone UK ECN accounts require a .r suffix. So in this case I will add the .r suffix in the space uh, attributed to this field. And that will make everything be translated to the correct symbol. There are many options which can help you map certain symbols. If you have any doubts on how to use this feature, just read our FAQ and in case you can't find what you're looking for, ask us via our support or chat groups. The last thing we need to do is to show all the symbols. Right click on the market watch and press show all. This will uh, display all the symbols and it will make it easier for the copier to find the correct symbol once it, when it wants to place a trade or an order. And that's it. Please remember to keep both MT4 and the receiver program open all times. One tip I have for you 
See the link in the descriptions to find out how to switch off updates to run automatically so that they don't restart your VPS. In case you are looking for the PDF version of this tutorial, it is in the description of this video, or you can find it on our site on the copy trading service page. I hope this video is useful and it helped you make the installation more simple. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks about different tools which will help you be more successful on the financial markets. Thank you for watching, I wish you all profitable trading.